A few days ago, the official Twitter account of Monster Hunter showed this tweet here. This can seem a normal tweet about the, the options, the settings uh, of uh, the upcoming uh, DLC Sunbreak, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. But if you look closely at the background of this, uh, this tweet, you can actually notice that uh, the background Guys, the background is the ship of the last trailer the, the, of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So this gives us a few options uh, on uh, why you can actually open the, the settings menu in while you are on board of that ship. The first one is that it's uh, like uh, the beginning of Monster Hunter World, where you were around the, the ship that were taking you to the new world, and you could go around because there was the big monster that attacked uh, attacked you, and you could uh, have that little scene uh, where you could move. Or another option is that the, that will be the new gathering hub, but I don't think it's this option at all. But I will put it just to let you know all the options. The third option is that we will have a big monster that, uh, will, uh, um, that we will have to fight going with the ship, like it was uh, Darren Moran, for example. Uh, that is, it was uh, a big whale-like uh, monster on Monster Hunter for Ultimate that you were on the ship and you had to attack uh, Darren Moran with cannons, uh, ballistas and etc. until the final uh, stage. But for me there's also another option. Basically guys, you can actually use uh, uh, the menu settings uh, while you can actually move your character, you can actually play. So for me another option that would be amazing if they will do it will be that we will have the ship and we can use that ship to actually go and uh, discover new areas, uh, discover new, I don't know, randomically created uh, zones with monsters that we will have to fight and that will be an amazing end game or post game thing feature like uh, it was uh, the guiding lens for Iceborne DLC. So that would be amazing first because we could be able to actually have every time a different area to explore so this will take me me and you uh, all our hunters fe fellow hunters to continue to play the game to discover new areas new things uh, new uh, monsters i don't know for new monsters but who, who knows right and uh, that would mean that the game is actually more playable during the time they could add new isles to, to visit, they could add new monsters that are really rare to appear in a special typical uh, areas because uh, those islands could be, I mean, for example, snowy or like the deserted or deserted or uh, the shrine ruins or the fluvial areas. So that would be really interesting. They could have a lot of ways to continue to update the game or just have the player play longer the game, actually. Like the Guiding Lens for Monster Hunter World, we could have new and exclusive materials that we can gain through this new end game, boss game how you want to call it. That would be an amazing idea, but that's my idea. <laughs> that would be a great idea if they could do it and uh, damn it, great. But I think uh, the more actually idea that they could use 
for me it's the the fight against a monster but i would love to see also something more peculiar like the guiding lens like i said before guys i'm talking about this thing today because i noticed that actually almost no one noticed that the background was the ship and maybe no one thought that you can only open the menu when you play so i think it if it was a cutscene like monster hunter world iceborne that when we change between uh, uh, the normal uh, new world to the new continent seliana we didn't move in the in the ship we couldn't do anything it was only the cutscene then Seliana, the new area, uh, the snowy area. So I think if you can move, it can be something bigger. They talk also of a massive expansion, right? So it could make sense that they will do something more peculiar, like using the ship to do something, to go somewhere. I think that would be a great idea to expand the game and expand the monsters in the future and uh, who knows what else uh, I think uh, we have to think more about this because they show it this image like oh look at this we are cheating a little the settings for some break because we thought we want to personalize more the controllers the, the commands but in the end, actually, they focus the, the public on this thing of that image and almost no one noticed the background. The ship! The ship of the last trailer! I was like crazy, I was like, I don't care about the options. Why there's the ship as a background? I was crazy, I was like, what the heck, why no one noticed? Why no one? It's an important news, actually, it's a news that no one noticed, because they did it on purpose. They tried to focus the attention of, uh, of all the people who saw the, the tweet on the menu. But the actual spoiler was there. <laughs> like when they did the other tweet, like, oh, we are telling you we are changing a little the movements of the character uh, while it's on the wall. Uh, because we are implementing some features on the, on the wall actions. But no one actually understood that they are changing this, these uh, movements because they are implementing a feature when you go on the, on the walls. Right? Uh, that's another thing that no one noticed, but it's there. It's there. Guys, I'm like really crazy because I wanted to wait. I thought that everyone understood there was something there. There was something important about this last tweet they did about the ship. But actually no one was talking about. So I decided to do it. I said, damn it. If no one noticed, no one knows that there's something new there. So I said, I will talk about it. Here I am. Hi, I'm Wither Vaughan, and I like to think uh, what it will be in the next Monster Hunter game. But this is a DLC, actually. <laughs> Guys, I love the game, and I really am waiting a lot to Sunbreak. And if they did something like expanding the game adding uh, more replayable content like actually the the islands that you can visit even if not they will not be randomly created it will be a great implement in the game actually and i can't wait to see what they actually did but i like to, to do theories about it so thank you so much guys to, to watch my my video about this news and my theories about it and hope you enjoyed if you liked the video as usual i remember you to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye